Welcome and bienvenue and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic with Light. And this episode is going to be real short because it's just kind of a bug report with the update to the thrusters in 0.1.18, I think it is. Either way, I don't know if it's because of the update or not, but they can do something quite unfortunate. And it's either because of the thrusters or because of the wireless control glitch. I have not done enough research to be able to determine which is the cause. I'll eventually put these on the thing and try to do it while I'm writing it, but as it stands, you can make a very, very heavy thing just float in the air with no support. See? No support whatsoever. It's just there. And yeah, you'd think, oh, light, come on, you just turned off the, the flame trails. You can totally just well, for one, it's way too stable to be held up by thrust with that. Whoop. We've got the flame trails on. Oh, but light, you, you just put in some invisible block to make it stay there. Well, no, if we just take our hammer and we hit it, it falls right down on our head. So, yeah. I'm not entirely certain of the cause, but I was working on my How Much Do Thrusters Thrust update video, and I decided to make another mostly stable platform, like in the previous episode, and then every now and then, it doesn't happen every time, there is some special condition where if you hit the button just right, it just hovers right in the air. I'm so glad that happened in the first take. I did not want to have to do that 15 more times to try to make it happen. You saw it live on camera. I push the button, I turn it off, and it just hovers there in the air. Now, there are certain times where it's either where in the oscillation it is or something that leads it to not update the physics properly, and it thinks, oh, yeah, I'm not moving, I'm fine, and it just stays there until something causes it to update. Um... So updating this does nothing. Hitting it with the hammer makes it um, update. Uh, these are theoretically part of it, so let's see if getting rid of one of these does anything. Nothing. We can get rid of this, which is not really part of it anymore. Uh, let's hop up to it. I love using the onion boxes for this. And let's hop on top. And since we are weightless, we don't update its physics. Um, dropping something on top of it will almost definitely update it. So let's just try putting an onion box on it. Yep. And you put the onion box on it and it falls. Because you update its physics and then it goes, oh yeah, I'm supposed to fall. And then it does. So... The only things really left to really search uh, for the cause of this would be to put the button and the switch on here. Uh, yeah. And then trying to make it happen up here. But the problem is up here, it's much more difficult to see where you are in the oscillation to be able to stop it at the right moment. But let's give it a try. So we're floating a little. We'll push ourselves up just a little bit. And then try to time it with the oscillations. I think it's right at the bottom of the oscillation. Nope. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to make it happen on camera. I'll just try two or three times and see if we can get it to happen. So I usually hit it either right at the bottom or right before the bottom of the oscillation. Thinking if it's caught right at the moment where... Its velocity is zero, that might be the cause. Let's give it one more try. Nope. And it might not even be possible without the remote control glitch. It seems odd, but there's some physical interaction between this object and these buttons, or through the the bearings or something, that it adds force to the remote object. I'll explore that later. Let's give it one more try. And show it to me. No. Nope. Um, 
I'll keep working on that, see if I can make it happen without the remote control glitch, but it might be the remote control that causes it. So I hope that's enough information for you to be able to replicate this particular bug and hopefully for the developers to be able to fix it because that clearly is a bug. You shouldn't be able to make something that weighs hundreds of metal just float in the air with no actual force support. It's just floating there perfectly stable. That's, that's just not right. That's not the way it should be. Uh, but I think that's enough for this little bug report. I will keep tinkering right away with it, see if I can find out more details about it. But I will see you in the next episode of Scrap Mechanic with Light. Mm -hmm.